you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hello everyone and welcome to the electrical engineering lectures channel today in this video i will be showing you how to plot a simple sine wave in matlab matlab is the most widely used simulation software by engineers throughout the world and this video will help beginners understand how to plot a simple sine wave which is function of time so please watch the full video and you will learn how to plot a simple sine wave having different frequencies different sampling frequencies and different time periods so first of all let us discuss the basic syntax of sine wave function of matlab it is sine 2 pi and then f is the frequency fs is the sampling frequency and n is the time index the value of sampling frequency must be at least two times the frequency f and by carefully selecting the value of n which is a vector of time you can plot desired number of time periods of this sine wave so as an example i am going to plot a sine wave of frequency 50 hertz and i select the sampling frequency of 1000 which is 20 times the frequency of the sine wave as you increase the sampling frequency you will get a more clear and crisp sine wave plot and then the next thing is the time vector so the value of this time vector depends on how many time periods you want to plot for this sine wave in our case since the sampling frequency is 20 times the frequency of the sine wave therefore if you set the length of this time vector equal to 20 then the command will automatically plot one time period of this sine wave so if i select here the time vector of length 20 starting from 0 up to 19 and i plot this sine wave so you will see that i get a single time period of this sine wave now if you want to plot two time periods of the same frequency sine wave then you just need to change the length of this time vector and if i set it 39 so the total length becomes 40 so it will plot two time periods of the same sine wave having frequency of 50 hertz so you can see now the frequency is the same right but we are getting two periods of this sine wave now for the same command if you want to change the frequency of the sine wave you just need to change this number which is currently 50 so i change it to 25 now when i change it to 25 the sampling frequency remains the same so the sampling frequency is now 40 times the frequency of the sine wave and since the length of the time vector is equal to 40 so i will be getting a single time period so you can see here that i am getting a single time period now for example if i want to have four time periods of this particular uh, sine wave having frequency of 25 hertz then i need to increase my time interval four times as compared to the original one so it must have the length of 160 40 into 4 so i will write here 159 so that the total length becomes 160 now you will see that i will get four time periods of this sine wave now if you want to change the amplitude of the sine wave you will simply put a scalar value here for example i want to change the amplitude from 1 to 5 so i will write 5 here and see now that the amplitude of the sine wave becomes in the range of plus minus 5 as shown by this y axis right and finally if you want to change the phase of the sine wave you will simply need to place that phase at the end of the argument so if i want to introduce a phase of pi by 2 then i will write plus pi by 2 at the end and then i will plot it to get a sine wave having phase shift of pi by 2 so by having this much phase shift this sine is converted into cosine right so hopefully you have learned the procedure to plot the sine wave thank you for watching this video and stay tuned to our channel